What's up guys, I'm going to be doing a review of Beat Hazard Ultra for you today, right now, tonight, actually, it's night time. I'm, I'm, I'm doing the review downstairs this time because I'm about to head out and actually pick up Battlefield 3. As you see, it's 7 o'clock right now. Those of you that are not watching this tonight on Battlefield 3 launch night, that's irrelevant. Anyways, to the review. This game is a PSN game. It came out a while back for PC, I believe. It's also been around for a while. And, uh, and I think either it just came out for uh, for PS3 and consoles, or it's been out for... I'm not really sure. I think they had the original version. Gotta look that up. But it's been around. This game's been around. It's well known. I didn't hear of it until now. I ended up with a review code for it, thanks to the guys over at Everyday Gamers hooked me up with that from, uh, from somebody else, a guy named Steve. That's all I know. Somebody named Steve, you know what I'm saying? So... Thank you, Steve. I appreciate it. This game overall, what I'm going to tell you right now is if you like music at all, if you're a big fan of music, if you're a fan of music, actually, that's it. That's all you need to be a fan of. You, you don't even have to be a fan of video games, okay? If you're a fan of music and flashing strobe lights, you pretty much want to buy this game. They're, basically, what you do is you're a little spaceship. There's asteroids and spaceships and monsters and bosses coming at you from all over the place. You have to shoot with your little spaceship, shoot them and blow them up, all at the same time as you're being overwhelmed by all these things, at the same time as there's random flashing lights strobing to the beat of your songs that you import into the game, or the game songs that they already have in there, but you can import your own songs in, all that in the background in front of you. This can get crazy. You can turn down the effects of the strobing if it gives you a headache or, or you start having a seizure on the floor. That could be a very bad thing. You may want to turn down the effects of the strobing. Me, I played this turn the strobing all the way to 200% as soon as I realized you could turn it higher than 100%. Another thing is obviously difficulty levels. There is a standard mode where you survive through the whole song. You just got to make it to the end of the song. You get various weapons and different things like that. Upgrades, all that good stuff and point multipliers. Make it through the song. You're done. You get your points. You add. You get your rank up. All that good stuff. There's a survival mode, which just goes on and on and on. You gotta survive as long as you can. Obviously, as the name states, there is also a mode where it's free to play. Just chill and relax. It, it goes through all the songs in the playlist, and basically you have unlimited lives, unlimited weapons, and you just go crazy. It strobes to the beat of the music there. For all anyone cares, you could actually just turn that on, put it on the that mode. And uh, basically just turn on the turn on the music, turn off all the lights, and there'll be a little strobey thing on your screen. It'll look pretty cool, you know what I'm saying? Ah, if you wanted to, you could. It's, it's an option. So anyways, let's get on to the game actually reviewing it. Control-wise, A+. There's nothing really you can improve on. You know, you got trigger buttons for various weapons. Your one stick moves your spaceship around. The other one changes, turns your spaceship and shoots at the same time. It faces the direction of it. Simple, straightforward, easy, not complicated at all. Next up comes graphic-wise. Graphic-wise for a PSN game, pretty good. I, they could have put a little more detail into the graphics, but I think if they did that, it may actually make the game harder because it would be harder to see what spaceships and what isn't due to the fact that there's so many things going on. And trust me, look at a gameplay of this game if you do not know what I'm talking about. There are so many things going on. I looked at a gameplay of the, of the game before I, I downloaded it, and... I was overwhelmed. I couldn't even keep trying. I was like, how am I going to play this game? This is this is nuts. It is, it's just ridiculous. And actually it is, but you'd be surprised. I After I played through a few times, as soon as I had the money to unlock Insane and Suicidal Mode, I went right to them both, and really, I could jump right in. Now, don't get me wrong. I could play through mostly everything on Insane. I wasn't really having too much trouble with that. Suicidal, on the other hand... That gives you quite a hard time, but one thing I did want to say about that, they could have upped the difficulty to another level, because if I'm already hopping right onto Suicidal, maybe I just have innate skill or something, is that even the word that fits there? Not really sure, but uh, it seemed like I shouldn't have been able to jump to Suicidal that quickly. Um, but again, it's not easy by any means, it's extremely difficult when you turn it up to that difficulty. Again, you can turn down the strobing to lighten the load a little bit, make it a little bit easier, which I did do once or twice just to try to get through a level. And other than that, the rest of it's great. The graphic, it's a simple game. It's its supposed to have simple graphics, and what they've done with it, it it's great. It works. Uh, I, I would, like I said, like to see a little bit of improvement in the graphics as far as the spaceships and details on that and the asteroids. I think that would be cool. Other than that, there's not really much I could improve besides that. Like I said, making it a little bit more difficult, or maybe even putting a little spin on it like Super Stardust HD had, where it's a 3D world environment thing. I think they could do some really cool stuff with that. If they had it 3D, they could have the planet be strobing and things like that, and random stars and stuff all over. 
going through my mind. Again, it's going through my mind. It could mess this game up. It could actually ruin the game if they did that. Um, but I think it, it, it might make it better. I don't know. It would be worth a shot, I think. It would be pretty cool. Um, but, but there's no negative thing about this game other than it may give you a headache. Um, but the coolest thing, you can input your own music. And it doesn't repeat itself. It's not like you import your one song and the level is the same as importing your other song besides just the strobing. The way that the enemies and spaceships and asteroids and stuff spawn is unique on every song that I tried so far. Every single one, including your own imported songs, they don't match up. It's unique. That deserves double thumbs up right there for that fact. Hands down, great job. That just about sums up this game. There's nothing really that I have to complain about. Again, it's all positive stuff. It's an awesome game. If you like music, I would recommend buying this game just if you like music. Get the difficulty, you can tweak this game to your liking and make it super, super easy or so hard you're going to pull your hair out of your head or maybe your eyes will start bleeding or your ears could bleed first. I don't know which one would bleed first. They both probably bleed at the same time from the intensity of this game. Anyways, guys, I'm off to go get Battlefield 3. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you want to check out a written review, look below all that stuff or above. There's text around here somewhere. Check it out. Thanks again for the review code. And you will see me soon.